Hi guys, this is Oliver for tutorialpilot.net and welcome to our new tutorial which is a very short one and comes with a free preset. Uh, first they're going to show you what we're going to create today. Uh, it's a slidey effect which you can use for uh, transitions or for cool grungy effects during your post-production. That as a simple effect here or you can use that as a transition between two clips which looks very cool or just uh, link that to some kind of music in your video and get a little grungy shaky effect. So but first we have to download the preset. For that you go to our website on tutorialpilot.net and go to uh, download section. Uh, under download section you find under freebies uh, the number 2 slider. Just click on download, download the, the slider zip file, uh, copy that uh, to your desktop just by dragging it onto your desktop and then hit the right mouse button, go to copy and then go into uh, your Z to programs, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS6 uh, or 5 or 5.5 five, five or 4 or whatever you are working on then go to support files, go to presets then right click your uh, mouse button, say new folder and name that Illumi or whatever you like to. In our case it's uh, the Illumi one. Just delete that here. Okay. Uh, go inside that folder and just uh, say uh, insert. Uh, we have already installed that and we say just copy and then you have it inside your presets folder. So that's it for installing uh, the preset. So let's get started. First make a new composition. Uh, make it uh, HD720 or whatever you like. In our case we use 720 which is 1280 by uh, 720. I use frame rate 25 pixels and the uh, duration of 10 seconds is fine for that and hit OK. So first is we bring in our uh, footage and we duplicate that and hide the upper layer. No, sorry, we hide the lower layer. And uh, then we go to our effects panel and if you don't uh, see the effects and presets uh, use shortcut control 5 or go to windows and effect and presets and make sure uh, it's uh, selected. So then just type in mask and you will find uh, in your uh, Illumi folder or whatever your folder uh, you named you find your Illumi mask slider preset and with the upper layer selected just double click on uh, the mask slider and uh, this effect will appear to your uh, footage and uh, you have here a slider control which uh, controls the thickness of your background of your footage layer so you can play with that and keyframe that as you like to and uh, that's because we make a, a copy of that layer if you unhide the lower layer and go back to your uh, first layer you see the effect comes from left to right in our case um, you can switch uh, here to some other uh, effects inside the slider if you like to. So got a cool effect upside down. You got some more effects like uh, Rosette. I don't like that very much. Yeah, it's got a little bit tutorial pilot style here. You see? Cool. Nice. I think I like the effect. No, just kidding. So um, you can play with the uh, different settings. They come uh, within the CC Reap tile, but I think uh, for that I will have the repeat one. So and you can play with the settings like you want. You can keyframe them because your video footage is uh, also running in the background, of course. So, for example, if you just go here and bring the slider to something like uh, 170 and hit the stopwatch and go to frame uh, to two seconds and uh, bring them up to, uh, yeah, in our case, 538 and uh, just look that's the effect looks cool you can do that forward backward whatever you like 
And if you like to do a cool transition effect like this, here, it's a little bit more tricky, but not this much. I will show you that. Um, I just delete these two layers so that we st start from scratch. So um, bring in your uh, first background layer, which is in our case the commercial, and uh, duplicate that layer, string D. Then uh, apply the mask slider tool to that and go to frame or to two seconds. Yeah. And uh, shrink the slider, the thickness down to something like uh, 152. In our case, oh, a bit smaller. Yeah, 156 in our case. That depends on the size of your uh, composition here, the value. So just play with the settings uh, uh, until you're fine. So then I hit the stopwatch on the slider and go to four seconds and bring it up to here. Okay, so what that does is we start here with that effect and then woof it goes to the side okay so next is we uh, with the commercial layer and the slider selected go to uh, composition no sorry a layer pre-compose and make sure you move all attributes to the new comp and say okay yeah then with that comp selected and your mask tool, your rectangle tool, just draw a mask like so. Okay? Then hit MM to uh, get the mask properties and go to just hit the stopwatch right here, mask path, and then go to two seconds and uh, select your mask. Make sure you only select this line here, so that you only move this line. Hold the Shift key and drag that up to here. Okay, what that does is, you see, there comes the little effect from left to right to inside. Okay, and then, here we go, whoop. So this is it for that layer. Maybe we bring down the mask here with the mask path selected to here so that we start right here with having nothing but the background layer with a visible. So in here it starts and up. It's a cool effect like so but we want to do that as a transition so we need our second clip. For that I use the um, After Effects Beam uh, trailer and I bring it here and uh, with that layer selected I just apply also the mask slider but I move that mask here to the left side and as you see you also can play with your mask and get some cool effects yeah, but in our case we bring it to here and also shrink the slider down to something like that and adjust again the mask. In this case make sure hit after, if you don't uh, can grab the whole mask go to your uh, After Effects beam and hit MM and just click on slidey so you get the whole mask selected. So we adjust it to here until it fits to the left corner and the expansion down to in our case 159 so that you don't see anything and hit the stopwatch okay then we go to second number two and shrink that up to 
here so that it fits uh, let us go just to here so that we have one quarter the old and two quarters uh, one third the old and two third of the uh, new composition and then we go to four seconds and we shoot that up so that we got the new image so for now it looks like this but what we're gonna do is bring another copy of that beam to here apply a mask to that like so go to the mask properties and mask path and we animate that from here to here make sure you only grab this line from the mask again from here to here and we feather that mask that layer by hitting T opacity to zero and we bring it from here to here to 100 yeah and finally why we do that because we set that after effects beam from transfer mode from normal to luminosity so we got a cool effect here overlaying this uh, footage and then on the last two seconds boom comes the original footage down here we go looks like that looks very cool cool transition effect you can take another time slider you can make it like a boom and there it is or, or make it longer or whatever you like to so I think you can play with that uh, slider mask settings and get some cool transition or um, uh, styly effects even if you like to do some uh, stuff uh, like uh, just make uh, just delete that once more and just for example delete that all the way so you can do another cool stuff by just uh, for example bringing in your uh, uh, footage in our case I take the commercial footage bringing some uh, uh, audio files and then go to uh, keyframe assistant with the audio file selected and say convert audio to keyframes you get a new um, layer which is a very quick and dirty method of course you can also use uh, from trap code sound keys to get some more effect but just for example to show you here you get your keyframes and then you can uh, apply the uh, mask slider to the footage and uh, with the um, drop down the audio and the slider and uh, with the, the uh, alt stopwatch click on the slider you can drag them and link them to uh, the keyframes of your footage of your sound footage with that uh, as you see here with that uh, little I can just drag it to the slider of the left channel for example and just leave it we do that only once here we go and hit OK what that does is as you see it's a little bit pumping to your uh, to your sound here we go just so it's uh, linked to your audio you can uh, increase the effect by going to your uh, expression and uh, go to that effect and say multiply by four for example and now you multiply the the effect four times so you get a bigger effect to that and so you can combine this uh, mass slider with audio with whatever you like and uh, also don't uh, don't forget if you apply that to audio like that it's, it's pumping around just uh, try these uh, these effects here bring the mask up to here to here so 
like so. Looks cool. Pump in there. So you got some cool grungy effects. You can, at least if you like to, uh, to make that uh, a little bit more round, you can uh, apply this CC motion blur effect to that. Mm, CC force motion blur. So you got uh, a motion effect, some motion blurring here. But be careful with the motion blur samples here. You can increase them, of course, and you can increase, of course, the shadow angle to get more movements going on there, to get more motion, like so, as you see. It looks more natural, more realistic. But make sure it takes render time and increase uh, render time. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that short tutorial and our preset and got some cool effects on the way uh, join us next time on tutorialpilot.net don't forget to uh, follow us on facebook twitter and like us on facebook we say thank you for that see you next time bye